Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. So in the previous videos we have done, we have talked a lot about a lot about uh, how we are connecting to the MySQL using type RM module. So in these videos, in the coming videos, now we will be writing the controller and services for our different entities. We have created these three different entities, user entity, comment and post. We have also defined the association between all these three entities. User is having one to many relationship with the post. Post is having one to many relationship with the comments. User is having one to many relationship with the comment. Comment and user is having many to one. So all these kind of relationship we have already defined and we have created a database. We have written a lot of all these entities we have created. We might be adding few more entities like you can have a post category. So every post will have a single category. So there can be a one to one relationship with the post and category. Uh, there can be another entity like tags, like every post you need to have a tag. Okay, this post is about JavaScript, TypeScript. It, it covers JavaScript, TypeScript, ES5, ES6. Those are tags. So we can have another entities like tags, category, which we will add further. But now let's keep these three entities. Now what we are going to do is we are going to change our code to consume these three entities. We have already seen that how to initialize our root module using type or a module. In type or a module we have provided all our entities, post entity, user entities and comment entity. Similarly if you are planning to have some other thing like uh, post will have a tags. So you can create uh, one more. So this entity will have this we are calling as a tag and it will have id as a primary key tag uh, is uh, just a string okay it will have a tag will have a many to one i mean this is associated to the post so we can just say that a single tag Comment tag is tag dot post. Okay, and here we will have the the post with, with which this tag is associated. Same relationship we need to define in the post. Okay, this we will define. Other than that, we just have these two columns. So this is our tag. Similarly, we can have a category. So category is something which is going to have a one to one relationship with the post. You can just create. Uh, ID is a primary key and it is. It is one to one relationship with the post okay like post has a one to one relationship with the user similarly it is belong to a single post object and here we have a category category dot now here it will be a, a post dot category okay now in the post you have to define the same relationship Okay, this is a one to one with post. So here we will have post. Okay, so inside post we have to create this category column and the same one to one relationship we have to define. Other than that, we don't need anything else. So we define all these relationships between uh, post and category also. Okay, it will be one to one. So after doing all these things, what we are going to change is we are we will start writing our modules. So our first module, let's say that we, I, I'm going to write the auth controller. Auth controller will do the user login. I mean, we have a user entity uh, in the MySQL table and we can do the login. We can just do user login by entering the email ID and password in the 
payload so we'll be writing controller we'll be writing service we can write a dt also for this so user controller we have already written some controllers with the help of mongoose in the previous videos now we will just change the implementation for type orm instead of mongoose module okay so this is the login route and we are injecting body I and mean, we are getting the request body and we are calling user service dot find by login we are creating payload once the we get if you are able to find the user successfully then we are signing the payload and returning the token similarly the register register is just creating the user and sending the message user created successfully now what actually will change is the change in the user service so here we have our user service first of all user service is defined as a shared module so what major change will happen is in this service we are going to access a user entity so first of all we have to define type or module in the in this shared module type or module dot four feature and we have to pass our user entity then only you will be able to access uh, the user thing here user entity now in the services you can inject the user repository so in this user service same as this is what we were doing in the mongoose module so here I can just do inject uh, inject repository this is how we do in inject inject repository is coming from nasjs type rm so we are injecting a particular repository like user repository we are injecting and this is a constructor injection so we are injecting user repo of type uh, okay inject repository of type this entity now it should be of repository of type uh, user yeah this is fine we'll see this inject repository so this is entity or schema so this entity we are getting uh, this is not that user I'm looking for so we have to we just need to remove all these things which are not needed we need to get the user entity it's not in this okay we got this user entity from entities user just fix the input thing entities and user right we are passing this user now we should be able to access this user repository user repo dot find now we are going to access the methods provided by type rm you can see find one so c method will be applied find one okay you can see this compatibility of the methods right uh, we are just changing this these methods for our type rm compatibility we got the user object if we didn't get the user uh, if we get the user object then it, we can say that user already exist so this is about create I mean we are doing a register here just keep that in mind register okay if user already exists otherwise what we need to do is uh, we have to find a repository so how we do a create create repository is nothing but uh, I mean create entity is nothing but why how we do it uh, rep user repository dot save and we pass the contact object so while creating uh, the user what we can do is uh, this dot here we are accessing user repo okay here we will have a one method which is save and in this method we can just pass the object which we are getting to create a user so like user dto we are getting so user dto what all things it is having we can just wait this dot user repo dot save user dto is nothing but it is having these arguments username password seller and address we will just change it for based on our information we just need address this is fine now we created the user and if user is created then return that otherwise we can just 
uh, it will go inside the catch block and we should be able to handle the exception so you can just wrap it around try block try catch this is the simplest way of uh, handling the error and all try catch and here you can throw we can just throw an SJS exception like bad request exception and all so we just need to take care what exception we are throwing okay now this is registration user registration works fine what we did is we are just finding the so username is unique in the user entity if you see uh, I think we have made a username unique, unique instead of email so what we did is we are just trying to find do we have this username already exists in our database the same username if not then we are just creating this user user object so the one thing which we have to fix is const user equal to we have to create a user object from user entity and we have to set each and every attribute like user dot uh, so we have a lot of things in the user object username so we are getting this from the user dto user dto dot username similarly we have to set all the attributes so we can say it is a new user which we are going to create new user dot username and then create the pass, pass this object to a user report dot save so here we have a password equal to uh, so here we will use one helper method okay uh, let's see this entity so we have a hash password method in the entity and it is accepting the password so we can do the hash password user duty dot password what we got from the request object Yes, password. So username and what do we have? We have email. Which we need to see what all things are there on the user entity. User entity is having all these things: name, password, post, comment, and all. So we don't don't have an email. That's fine. We just need to fix in the user DTO so whatever we are getting whatever the attribute you wanted to set just key set them like we have password and address this is optional property or what okay new user doesn't have the address property so let's ignore it we are just accepting username and password and pass this new user object now we are able to save it otherwise we will get the bad request exception so this is how we are done with the registration now if we try to do the login we will do the same thing here we are injecting we have injected this user repository so we will access this dot user repo dot find this dot user repo dot find one you based on the username it is we are trying to find and here we are doing a select so instead of that what I can just do is if you are able to find something based on this username right that means user does exist with this username now what we need to do we just need to compare the password so we just we will be passing user dot password and the password which we are getting in the request object and then we are sanitizing the user and returning this user in the response right so this is simple simple logic which we are doing otherwise invalid credential if the password doesn't match so indirectly what we have done is we have written two different route services one is a register and one is login and this is going to work perfectly fine okay now in another uh, another videos we are going to talk about post controller comment controllers and all the only thing which you need to remember is if you are going to access user repository post repository comment repository then then in that module where you are injecting the service should have defined 
that entity in the type rm.4 feature so i will be so it is same as we were doing with the mongoose so here we are doing type rm.4 feature passing the user entity so in the user service you are able to access the user repository user report.find1 find find by id all these methods we can execute